Welcome back for another Polygon Matic Prize Prediction Analysis and in this video I will be sharing my next price targets give you areas that Polygon Matic needs to continue holding here on the charts and also discuss my next trade setup and before I do so show some love by first giving this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and also check out the channel membership and at the time of this recording matic is holding below the 20 day ma here on the four hour chart which is now acting as resistance for us to continue gearing up we are also holding below a key area of support at around the 0 0.7114 4 dollar mark which is also acting as resistance but the moment we see a break above it we can watch out for a successful retest before we can continue gearing up and continue unlocking higher prices Matic has also seen a break above this descending trend line that I have here on the charts highlighted using this white line and you can see that we have now seen a break above it and we are now seeing a retest of that descending trend line and I'm expecting that once the retest is in and a success then Matic can continue unlocking higher prices to the next key area of resistance at around the 0.78 dollar mark where at that key area of resistance we can either break to the upper side get a successful retest and see matic give us a high above the 0.8 dollar mark and to give you my next trade setup basing it on this descending trend line and this is not financial advice once the retest is in and a success then soon i will be opening a long trade over here at around the 0.74 dollar mark having my first target areas at around the 0.784 dollar mark where we have resistance and for the stop loss i'm just placing it below the low that we have on the 23rd on the 10th of june at around the that is the 10th of july at around the 0.67 to 1 dollar mark and that is my next trade setup and that is not financial advice matic has also continued to obey the edu 12 structures and to give you my analysis since the 10th of june when we had this massive breakdown giving us a low at around the 0.52 dollar mark we started gearing up obeying the edu 12 structures where we first put in place this one to set up to the upper side then we have this edu 12 structure terming this as a wave one then a breakdown move in the formation of this wave two then we saw this massive pump in the formation of that wave three then a breakdown move in the formation of this wave 4 into the minimum retracement areas highlighted on the charts using this red target area which is an area that we have now fully maximized and there are high chances that we now have a low in place for the fourth wave and soon we are going to see a reaction of this target area get impulsive and get impulsive in the formation of this wave 5 and giving you minimum target areas for that wave 5 to the upper side by connecting the trend based fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave 1 then dragging the fibs to the high of that wave 3 i get a minimum target area at the fib level 0 0.618 and that is at around the 0 0.9858 dollar mark and that is the minimum that we can expect matic to do in the formation of that wave 5 and that is what i'm watching out here on the short term on the matic chart and that is my next trade setup and also taking a look at the indicators on the rsi we are trading at around the 39 mark on the macd we have been able to print a bullish cross fully supporting higher prices so let's be patient and see how that plays out and i will be keeping you up to date